Welcome to the Institute for Strategic Policy Solutions. My name is Kimberly Jackson, and I'm the Executive Director. St. Petersburg College and the Institute are very proud to work with Congressman Gus Villarakis on his annual affair where he provides resources to veterans in the community. Today, we're spending time with several entities and organizations and individuals who support their time and share their talent with veterans who need resources. And we're with today um, Tom White, who is the executive assistant and so much more for the Florida Department of Veterans or FLDV. Do I have that right? Florida Department of Veteran Affairs. Florida Department of Veteran Affairs. I have to get that better. So I'm going to just ask a series of questions. And first of all, welcome. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. today. Please tell me a little bit about what you do and how you support veterans. Sure. Uh, I'm the uh, executive assistant to the director of benefits and assistance for the Florida Department of Veteran Affairs, which is one of the three branches that the uh, Florida Department of uh, Veteran Affairs has. Um, primarily, I support the director in um, helping be uh, benefits and assistance for veterans. I'm also the primary trainer and accreditation point of contact for all veteran service officers for the state of Florida. Besides that, I'm also the de um, uh, department service officer for the uh, Department of Florida uh, for the American Legion, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, has me doing many things for the department, uh, of which is um, accrediting or certifying all post service officers for all American Legion posts in the state and acting as a point of contact for all veterans benefits through the American Legion for the Department of Florida. You have a big role, you need a different title, and I don't see that you're, you're, you can rest anytime soon. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, you know, for our broader audience, because we mm -hmm. hope that you all share this, not just with veterans, but the broader community, what does a veteran get and how, walk me through again, how they access resources to obtain benefits and get the resources that they need from the state? Well, sure. Um, the state benefits, um, we, we kind of wear a lot of different hats when it comes to um, benefits. We're the premier point of entry, or that is our goal is to be the premier point of entry for all veterans in the state of Florida to getting both federal, state, and local benefits. Um, we have offices that are in every VA hospital throughout mm -hmm. the state of Florida and just about all of the VA outpatient clinics in the state. We also have partners at the county level, county veteran service officers, that my role is to train and accredit them through the VA mm -hmm. and then to assist them to go out and um, have uh, assist be uh, veterans with benefits. We have offices for the counties in every county in the state of Florida. So veterans have a lot of different ways that they can access their benefits. Mm -hmm. Besides um, those that I've mentioned, veterans can simply apply for benefits right through eBenefits on the VA's website. Mm -hmm. We would encourage them not to do that because uh, our job is to advocate for them mm -hmm. and to help them navigate the many pitfalls that are in the VA's benefit system and in even the state benefit system. Um, Hopefully, with our advocacy, they'll be able to get the benefits the first time instead of probably going through what many people have heard, a lot of the different pitfalls mm -hmm. and um, the years in the appeal system, which thankfully that's been changed um, through our current uh, presidential administration with um, the new AMA Act that was filed, mm -hmm. um, gone into effect. So appeals go a lot faster nowadays. So from a practical aspect, when a person is coming to seek and you said you prefer them to come to you. Correct. In light of COVID, how are you encouraging people to do that? Well, COVID has been a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, uh, majority of our offices are not open right now. Mm -hmm. We're uh, working remotely. Uh, there are several offices that are open. Majority of the counties, from my understanding, are open. There are still some that are not. Mm -hmm. um, I would encourage them to contact us either at our website uh, or um, call us and we will field uh, their questions and try to help them remotely as best as possible. When you have um, challenges with, you know, transportation and access to Wi-Fi and, you know, other equity challenges that face many people in our communities, but oftentimes veterans, um, what would you say to them about, you know, being patient and, and trying to get other supports while they're waiting 
um, to access benefits? Well, veterans uh, sometimes can be an interesting lot. Um, uh, they're, there's a mindset that when accessing VA benefits that there's going to be a long wait. Some folks um, understand that, some veterans understand that, some don't, and some have really been through the system for a very long time. Mm -hmm. What I would encourage them to do is to contact us so we can help them navigate that. Um, if particular transportation's an issue, some county, some of our county partners have transportation, they offer that to them. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's a healthcare access issue, mm -hmm. um, we can contact any of our number of our offices, like I previously mentioned, that are, are in the medical facilities that can help them navigate with the patient advocate um, office or the appropriate office in uh, the medical center. So I would just have them contact the Florida Department of Veteran Affairs and we would help them in any myriad of different ways to try to get the benefits or access um, to whatever it is that they're looking for. Okay. Um, in our brief little time, I want you to share anything that you have new that's going on that you like to share with the veterans from your agency, any programs or anything that you think they should know about um, moving forward in COVID? Well, um, about a year ago, our uh, director, who is our executive director, <laughs> Danny Burgess, who is now moving on to other things, mm -hmm. uh, started an initiative called Forward March that the, the governor um, also um, was hand in hand with him on. Um, what we're trying to do is wrap our arms around all of the assets in the state for veterans, whether they be private, whether they be county, state, you name it, mm -hmm. um, federal. We're, we're trying to get a, a cohesive look at everything that is out there um, and then package that into one point of entry um, for veterans to get any access to any benefit anywhere, anytime. Nice. Uh, so far, that's been somewhat of a success. It's an ongoing project mm -hmm. that I'm sure our next executive director will pick up, uh, being that it's a, um, um, the governor wanted that to happen. Yes. I'm sure that that will all be on, an ongoing uh, thing that we'll be pursuing. Okay. Well, that sounds very interesting. You have a lot of work, a lot on your plate. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about, um, from the vantage point of... Um, from the veterans who want to access benefits, need support, do you work with any other agencies to help them while they're in the process of waiting? Uh, well, we have some of our own organic agencies and it kind of goes off of maybe the topic a little bit because we do have the veterans homes, mm -hmm. uh, the skilled nursing homes um, and, and such that if a veteran needs to get into those, we can assist them. But as far as waiting uh, and, and any kind of asset for that, um, it, that, that's sometimes a tough thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, what I would suggest they do is, is uh, veterans, especially if they're having financial difficulties, yes. um, and, and in some cases, emotional difficulties, things of that nature, contact the VA suicide hotline. They are mm -hmm. professionals at assisting veterans. And, and a veteran doesn't have to be suicidal to contact them either. If they're having a hard time, contact them. Uh, go to our website, um, and there's also a, a list of all kinds of different assets for a myriad of different things from homelessness uh, um, to mental health to different health care access that's in the state, uh, both private and governmental that can assist them. But when in doubt, ha the veteran should contact any of our offices. Our offices, you don't have to make an appointment. You just Thanks. show up and it's first come, first serve. Or in this case, call us and we'll try to get back to you. Our, our goal is to do it within 24 hours. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's good to know. You know, we have a lot of students here at our college who are veterans. Um, we try to support them as a college. So thank you so much for the resources that you're providing. And we appreciate your time today. Thank you.